Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we review the second semi-finals of the UEFA Champions League between Milan and Inter. It's a Milan derby. The demand for tickets tonight is about $2 million. The stadium could have been sold out 26 times. This city of Milan, the city of fashion business with a population of about 1.3 million, the characteristics defines both these Milan clubs. Rossonori in the black and red, Terrasori in the black and blue. It's historic, absolutely privileged to do this review watching these two clubs play today with the magnitude of stage behind them. Both these teams have not been so good in Syria this season, but they've been excellent in the Champions League so far and they would want to continue with that form and performance uh, tonight. In six days' time, there will be a turnabout. We will get to see the second leg as well. Milan have won the Champions League seven times, Inter on three occasions. They could very well challenge in the Champions League finals in Istanbul, Turkey. 237 meetings spread over seven different competitions. Inter with 87 wins, Milan with 79. Last time these two teams met in the Champions League semi-final, Milan got past them and Milan has the edge over them in the Champions League tournament. The city of Milan tonight has come to a halt. The country has come to a halt. Same for all the football fans. They are making time to watch this game from the Grand Old Stadium, which is more than 90 years old. On the formation, AC Milan going ahead with 4-2-3-1 with Minan on the goal, Theo Tomari, Simon Kair and Calabria in the defense, Tonali and Crinch in the midfield, Brahim Dias, Banakur, Salamekers and Jero up front for uh, Milan. For Inter, they've made one big surprise, Berzovic on the bench, Onana on the goal, Bastoni, Ersebri and Darmian in the three-man defense, Dimarco, Barella, Kalahunkulu, Mkhitaryan and Dumfries in the midfield, five for them. And with Dimarco and Dumfries providing them the width, Jeco and Lotaro Martinez up front for Inter. No surprises there. What an occasion this is for Jero in the Milan jersey. He's been excellent form in the last two seasons since his move to Milan. It's like a revival in the Italian football. Juventus and Roma in the Europa Cup semi-finals, Fiorentina in the Euro Conference League semi-finals. So of the 12 semi-finals that we have this time around Europe, five have come from Italy. And it is a guaranteed spot for one of these two Milan clubs to be in the Champions League final. First half, both the teams have won their respective home games in Syria last. This will be the first time these two teams have faced each other five times in the season, including the next week, next uh, second leg of the Champions League. One of the key battles to look out for is between Dumfries and Theo. They both like to get forward very, very much, very offensive-minded, defensive wing-backs. Dumfries set to uh, set a goal for the other wing-back, DiMarco, in the last match. Hernandez scored a wonder goal in his last match as well. It's been a frantic start, very high-intensity seen from both the teams, mostly on the right side for Inter. Purely for Milan has done a fantastic job, won the Scudetto last season. It's been a tough season for Milan coach, uh, for Inter coach Inzaghi. He's been under some pressure early on, but the Champions League progress and the recent form in the CR, uh, Syria has provided them with the confidence. Fourth minute, both teams keep their shape, getting the ball possession, not making much of a creative chance yet. Very cautious first few minutes for both the teams. Inter seems much more polished than Milan in the opening stages. A corner in the seventh minute, swung in, ball goes towards Jacko, who uses his strength and the pace of the ball and then turns it on to the goal. Inter one, Milan one. What a danger Jacko is, absolutely smashing it on the volley. Inter has the edge early here in the Milan derby. Second semi final, first leg of the Champions League. No chance for the goalkeeper at all. It's an excellent finish. What a start here for Inter.
Calabria, possibly the smallest player in the pitch, unable to stop Jaco there from scoring. Jaco has got 14 goals in all competition and he still keeps getting them. He already has a Champions League medal with Chelsea against the Manchester City a couple of years ago. The 10th minute, Barola picking up the pass on the left side from DiMarco from uh, Inter. Good link up play, finds Martinez who lets it run for Mkhitaryan and they open up Milan defense. They are in again. Mkhitaryan gets second of the night for Inter. Milan has been cut apart here. A brilliant football there from Inter. Very good touch and even better finish from Mkhitaryan there. Inter 2, Milan 0. Unbelievable start here for Inter in the Milan derby. Milan needs to fight back here. The home team with all the hype before the match. They are down 2-0 in the first 10 minutes. Milan Stadium, everyone is stunned with the scoreline. Inter supporters making their voice heard. 15th minute, Mkhitaryan gets another chance. This time a save from Mainan. It comes from a shot from uh, Kalhanoglu hitting the post. Milan are all over the place now. Benacor goes out with an injury. Messias comes in for Milan. He will play on the left side. Pretty much everything that could go wrong for Milan is going wrong for them already. Two early goals and early injury of the a good player. Both the wing backs, DiMarco and Dumbries for Inter, have been excellent in the first 20 minutes so far, providing the width crosses so far they've been making runs and so dangerous in this formation and uh, shape so much space in the midfield for inter to work on and make those quick passes very hard working inter midfield not letting milan space in their half free passage onto the inter goal at all one of the big differences in the game so far has been jacko has been coming down to get the ball stretching the milan defense making those spaces enabling the offensive up the field not sure we can say of Juro at the moment here. There is space available to play one touch over him at the moment in this game. Milan finished behind Chelsea in the group stages. They did the double over them in the Champions League before. Martinez here has been brought down in the 18th yard area. A penalty given. Milan players are protesting. Was it a deliberate foul? War will be checked by the referee and he goes on to see if there is any contact at all no penalty given something has gone right finally for milan in the game it's a very tight call there in the 32nd minute shot on the goal this time from notaro martinez a good chance for inter to increase their lead doesn't hit the target goalkeeper was nowhere close to it another good opportunity missed for inter this formation for inter allows both the wing backs demarco and dumpries to play with so much freedom one is crossing the other is there to meet the cross as a striker this is just amazing attacking football to watch in a 3-5-2 formation they were more athletic of the both the teams they have made more forward runs four added minutes of the first half milan on the ascent making some moves on both the sides good defending by inter there they're very strong uh, with the defending in the first half milan trying to inject some space and pace towards the last few minutes well that's how it ends milan zero inter two well the summary of the first half it's a milan derby inter coming out strong Two very good opportunities carved out early on the Milan defense. Inter took their chances. Every time they won the ball, they looked dangerous. They are in the driving seat. Milan had their setback with two goals down. And the team is down. They need a strong performance in the second half, which will help them get going in the semifinals and take this to the second leg second half milan starting the second half on the front foot they've been the second best in terms of athleticality physicality in the first half they need to overcome that change that in the second half if they have to be back in the game they need to make more forward runs make more recovery runs milan finding more space in the midfield in the second half inter seems to be playing very cautiously in the early stages uh, at the back as well 48th minute brahim dies provides a little spark that uh, Milan required 
tries a curler with his left foot, not enough to bend to grace the Inter's goal. More positive start from Milan this time. Another good move for uh, Milan, this time from midfield by Tonali. He gets past Mkhitaryan, gets a through pass to Messias, who tries to curl the ball with his left foot. Another one goes wide for off the Inter post. A big chance again for uh, Milan, a sign indicating they are in the recovery mode. The game has been open on both the ends, frantic. Milan seems to be creating better opportunity in the second half. A very big chance coming here for Inter. Bastoni allowed to move the ball forward from the left side. So much space uh, in for him there. He creates an assist for Jaco, who takes on Mainan and makes a good save there. Still some bit of vulnerability shown by Milan. Inter should have got their third goal there. Bastoni already created two great goals for Inter against Benfica in the previous round. He's had another one there. One of those players who's helped Italy win the last delayed European Championships. It's a more measured, more control from Milan in the second half. It's the edge they need to lift them more up. 60th minute, Origi comes on for uh, Milan, the former Liverpool player. He's expected to produce a goal like the one he produced in the Champions League finals with Liverpool. He's got the pace, he's got the energy, he's very strong. 15 minutes gone, the intriguing battle fought by the two local giants, Milan and Inter, watched by the world. Theo comes on for Milan in the defense as well. Inter also making their first change. Brozovic comes on, who's seen all of it, most of it comes on for Mkhitaryan, who scored the second for Inter. Origi starts on the left side, already makes a mark, sets up Giro, who pulls him back to Tonali, and a shot hits the post. A lovely piece of play there from uh, Milan. Very unlucky for Milan. They should have got their first goal. It is still Milan 0 into 2. 90 minutes is a long time to rule in a game and that's exactly what's happening here. Milan with more ball, more of the chances, more forward runs, creating more intensity. They're attacking with a purpose here. They need to get a goal here. A sense is getting generated in the Milan fans as well. Tonali in the second half has been very influential for Milan, something they missed in the first half. First 20 minutes of the first half was poor for him. He was brushed aside for Inter's second goal for Mkhitaryan. Since then, Tonali has started to drive this match for Milan from the midfield. Lukaku comes on for Jaco. Stefan Drebic comes on for DiMarco. They will play in the same shape. Darmian comes on the left side for Inter. No goals in the second half reflects the much more balanced context in the Milan derby today. Last 10 minutes of the game, more changes made for both the sides. They're trying to get the best of this game. Grish, uh, get some fresh legs and make progress. Inter happy to sit and hold on. Milan trying to be more dangerous, trying to get a goal back here and get into the game. Seems like Milan has to now look forward to the second leg. They have the quality to get back, score and win that match. Four minutes added. Game is now end-to-end. -end. Chances being created at both the ends. Good challenges coming in. Inter looking to stick to their shape and protecting their lead. In summary, Inter at the start of the game got a 2 0 lead. Hasn't been quite good in the second half, but they deserve their victory for the excellent first half that they had. Jeco and Mikatarian got the goals for Inter. We will be back to see if Milan can get back on Inter uh, in the second leg. In the first leg of the second leg, UEFA Champions League semi finals, Inter have beaten their neighbors, their cousins, their city rivals in front of a watching world. Inter take the first leg to zero. Well, that's it from my side. Please provide your comments on the match and subscribe to my channel for more such reviews. Until next time, bye.